Did you know that nowadays you can use small DJI drones such as the DJI Mini 4 Pro to create 3D models? And in this video, we're going to be showing you exactly how you can do that and do it completely for free. So in this video, we're going to be using UGCS software for flight planning. UGCS open license is completely for free. Then for data processing, we will be using a combination of a reality scan combined with a post shot. We'll be flying around an abandoned Orthodox church. So these are basically the ruins of a church that we will need to cover. And we will do it from uh, two different uh, perspectives, so to say. So one will be the automated flight, which we will plan inside of UGCS. This will be a double grid mission. And then also we uh, did capture some data simply manually around the facade of the building. This was because that around the church, there were a lot of tall trees, which prevented us from flying uh, too low. And now, without further ado, let's get started with flight planning. So here we are already inside of UGCS, and now we can get started with planning our photogrammetry mission. So now we can click here on create new route. I will simply create a new route from scratch. Let's call it Mini 4 Pro. Then now also let's select this model, DJI Mini 4 Pro. To uh, have this model in UGCS, make sure you have UGCS version 5.14 or newer. Then let's click here on next, then choose photogrammetry and choose area. Now in the next step, you can simply uh, mark out the area over which you want to fly. So you can see this is the church already here in the middle of the screen. And then we can simply draw out a very simple rectangle around it. The next we can go here into the uh, basic settings and we can just go through all the parameters to see what parameters am I setting for a mission like this. So firstly, we have the flight height. Uh, so in general, you want to fly as low as possible. So typically this will be based on the height of the trees. So the lower you can get, the better. In this case, because of the trees, we had to fly at 35 meter altitude. Uh, next is the flight speed. So flight speed also we can set slightly slower. So we can set at four meters or even for a small area like this, we could probably even do three meters, but I think four will also be fine. Um, next is the forward and side overlaps. These are recommend leaving uh, at least 80 and 80%, 80 especially for 3D model creation. Uh, then next for the turn type. So we have the adaptive bank turn selected and for the altitude mode, I'll be using the smart AGL. Uh, next here in the advanced tab. So I have the uh, double grid checkbox turned on. This is to ensure that we capture the object from multiple different perspectives. And then here in the actions tab, what we can also do is we can ensure that the camera tilt is set at the correct angle. So uh, by default, it will add an angle of 90 degrees, meaning that the camera will be looking straight down. In this case, we can, for example, add something like 70 degrees to ensure that especially when there are tall trees that the drone will be able to capture some oblique imagery of what's there on the ground. And next is we can also set the camera by distance action. This will also already be added automatically in UGCS. Uh, and now actually once that's done, then that's it for the flight planning. So usually for these smaller drones, flight planning is very simple. Uh, if you have some other small DJI drone, then also we made a separate video on how to use those drones with Litchi, but specifically the Mini 4 Pro drone. This is the one that you can now connect directly to UGCS using our companion app. So to do that, you will need uh, this controller. So this is the DJI N3. You can use either the N3 or the N2 controller. So the one without the screen. Because the controller without the screen, this allows you to use your own Android device on which you can install uh, third-party Android apps. And in this case, we were using the UGCS companion app. A link down in the description so you know where you can get it download it again like i mentioned earlier completely for free so and then basically once uh the flight is planned then with the companion app you'll simply have to connect uh, both devices on the same network so the computer as well as the uh, mobile phone that you'll be using and then when the drone is turned on you will uh, already see the drone appear here on the screen and you'll be able to upload the route to the drone and fly Okay, and here you can see the result of this flight. So now if we uh, zoom in to some of the parts, you can actually see that with this method of data processing, 
which is the Gaussian splatting. So actually we managed to get quite a lot of detail on a lot of parts of this building and this was done from a very quick flight. So of course it would have also been possible to capture even more detail from a longer flight and especially if there was no dense vegetation around this object so we would have been able to fly from all different angles to capture it in high detail. And here also you can see these are the details on the roof. You can see the cross here on top of one of the towers. Uh, you can also even see these trees that are growing on the uh, roof of this church. And if you look inside, then also here you might notice, so this is one of the uh, church towers that actually was originally from the roof, but it uh, fell down. So now it's resting here in the middle of this. Especially when you're processing dead sets like this with Gaussian splatting, um, this isn't so much as to measure the exact size of the object, it's more to visualize it, to understand the state of it, as you can see here. So for example, you can see, let's say, where some walls are crumbling. You can see all the details on, on the roof and things like that. If you wanted to use the same data set to also actually measure this object, understand some more exact dimensions of it, then simply you could process it in software such as Reality Scan or Agisoft Metashape. And instead of using the Gaussian splatting, you can use normal photogrammetry methods and then get results that can be more easily measured. Since this is a bit of a shortcoming with the Gaussian splatting, because with this you aren't able to easily measure. But at the same time, the model looks a lot more realistic than what you would get when using simple uh, photogrammetry. So here you can see all the details of the uh, front facade of this church. And here, because this was covered with quite dense vegetation, we simply were not able to cover this in a uh, very high detail. That's why here you can see there's some data missing there. But yeah, if you want to see more of this workflow and if you want to see more information about how to process data, especially how to process data with Gaussian splatting, then make sure to leave a comment and uh, in one of our next videos, we can also show this. So in conclusion, it's now possible to use DJI Mini 4 Pro and other drones to capture detailed 3D models completely for free. All the links are down in the description, including EGCS Open and where you can get it to get started with your flight planning. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.